Bienvenidos a esta presentación del imperfecto. This presentation will cover the conjugations of the imperfect tense, which is one of two ways to speak in the past tense in Spanish. The other tense for the past tense is the preterite tense, which is covered in another lesson, and the use of the imperfect versus the preterite is still another lesson. The imperfect is a very easy tense to conjugate. Hablar, which is a regular verb in the imperfect tense, is conjugated as follows. The first step is to take off the AR, which leaves you with a stem, and to the stem we add aba, abas, aba, abamos, aban. Two things to be careful with is that the yo form and the el, ella, usted form, that is the first person singular and third person singular, are the exact same endings. In the imperfect, it's necessary to use yo before the yo form to make it clear that you are speaking about yourself. The second thing to note is that there is an accent mark on the a, on the first a in the ending abamos. This is correctly pronounced hablábamos. An example of a regular ER verb is comer, and the endings are ia, ias, ia, íamos, ian. Again, we have the same yo form and el, ella, usted form, so the yo is a good idea to use so that you're clear. Each one of these has an accent mark on the I because of the strong and weak vowel combination that we have. The I being the weak vowel needs the accent mark for correct pronunciation. Vivir is an example of a regular IR verb. IR verbs in the imperfect use the same endings as the ER verbs. As you can see, they follow the same pattern whether it's AR, ER, or IR. The easy thing about the imperfect is that there are only three irregulars in the language and they also follow the same pattern. The first of the irregulars is the verb said, to be. Said in the imperfect is conjugated. Era, eras, era, eramos, eran. The second irregular verb in the imperfect is to go, ir. To go is conjugated. Iba, ibas, iba, ibamos, iban. And finally, the last imperfect irregular is ver, and the conjugations are veía, veías, veía, veíamos, veían. Each of these has an accent on the I. You will see these signals more when you study the preterite versus the imperfect, but all of these phrases are going to require the imperfect if you're speaking about the past tense. What they all have in common is that whatever was done in the past tense was done habitually or an undetermined number of times. Practiquemos. I watched Spongebob as a child. Yo veía Spongebob de pequeño. My family visited Indiana many times. Mi familia visitaba Indiana muchas veces. My friends and I ate cereal on Saturdays. Mis amigos y yo comíamos cereal los sábados. I was shy as a child. Yo era tímido de pequeño. 
Pedro and Rosa went to the beach every day. Pedro y Rosa iban a la playa todos los días. Gracias por ver esta presentación y te deseo mucho éxito.